Hello everyone, I'm Zhu Peng Huang from Huawei and I'm super excited to have the opportunity to give this talk at OSS Summit this year for OSPOCON. Uh, hopefully our topic uh, on sharing our experience of running Minds for Open Source Community can help you. Now, first of all, a bit self-introduction. I'm currently uh, the uh, community manager for Mindspore. Uh, I'm also serving as the tech member for LFAI Foundation and Confidential Computing Consortium. Um, so let me start with uh, the uh, general philosophy uh, or the metaphysics that we adopt uh, for our line of work regarding uh, open source community operation. So in essence, we borrowed a lot from uh, Robert Persig's uh, theory of metaphysics of quality. Um, so for uh, our uh, actually day-to-day -day work, uh, we deploy something very similar to ML ops, to what the data scientists uh, use uh, in AI. So for a typical machine learning uh, operation pipeline, uh, you have the gather of the requirements and then you uh, do the preparation for data and then you perform training and do uh, evaluation, see the result, and then uh, you do a couple of rounds of fine tuning until the result is uh, very satisfiable and then you can deploy your model. So this is a typical pipeline for ML ops. The community operation, or we call the COM ops, uh, we use uh, has a very similar pipeline to ML ops. Uh, we also ha have uh, start with the requirements gathering. And then we have to define the KPIs or the, 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 the key goals uh, uh, for, uh, for our work to meet those requirements. And after that, uh, we identify the minimum uh, viable product that we can deliver and uh, we will try to deliver as fast as possible. So after the first round of uh, uh, reiteration, uh, we do evaluation, see if uh, the result is uh, meeting our expectation and uh, we can do some of the fine tuning and then uh, we do what we call the uh, actually a a reproductization. Now, um, this is the OSPO structure in action for uh, our daily work. Okay, let me go into detail of how, um, how we do the community operation for the Mindspore open source community. So first of all, uh, what is MindSport? So MindSport is a uh, very new cutting edge, uh, awesome, all scenario AI framework. Uh, we open source MindSport just almost a year ago uh, at, the end, at the end of March um, last year. So similar to uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, uh, MXNet, uh, MindSport is also a deep learning uh, inference and training framework. So this is a bird's eye view of um, the MindSport OSPO uh, work just in one year. Uh, I think we have a uh, uh, we have delivered an amazing uh, result of building. Um, the most active AI open source community in China in just one year's time. So let me uh, dive deep into the, the four aspect of our uh, come ops work in detail. First of all, uh, communication 
through code. So TinyMS is a, uh, like an entry-level uh, project that we, we developed uh, for months for uh, beginners. And we also create, uh, created a crash course using TinyMS uh, to help um, beginners and uh, entry-level developers that want to learn deep learning, but without uh, the AI background uh, to quickly uh, get a hands-on. Another major aspect of our work is to do communication via content. Our team has created a ton of content, especially in the era of COVID. Uh, we are using a lot of the online streaming and also uh, video conferencing uh, to, to reach the developers and also communication via outreach. We have been using a lot of social media uh, for, uh, for reaching out to, to developers. Uh, for example, we are using uh, uh, Slack uh, for uh, our global uh, developer ecosystem. Um, we created boot camps. Uh, for example, uh, last year we had the uh, 21 day deep learning uh, boot camp. And we also organized hackathons, uh, what we call the MindCon Geek Week. Uh, it's a bi week event that goes across uh, 12 or 15 cities in China uh, for a hackathon. So uh, the second aspect of uh, the ComOps work is governance. Mindspore, uh, we believe, is uh, among the first uh, open source deep learning project that has a open governance structure. So we have a chartered uh, governance model. We have the technical steering committee uh, it consists of uh, 40 members that are across the globe. We have the special interest group and the working group in the community responsible for day-to-day -day, uh, discussion and the development. And all of the SIG meetings and working group meetings and TS meetings are recorded and uploaded to various uh, video sites. Uh, to make sure that uh, all of the discussion and the process are public and transparent. We also has a, uh, uh, put a lot of efforts on compliance for governance. And also diversity uh, is on our mind constantly. Similar to the user group uh, that many open source community have, uh, we also have this structure called MindSport Study Group. So MindSport Study Group is designed uh, for uh, diverse, like local or topical or institutional social gatherings. So it has three types. Uh, first of all, we have the regional uh, MSGs. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have like uh, 15 major cities in China have established uh, the MSGs and also uh, across uh, seven countries. For example, as you can see, this is the poster uh, for, the, uh, for the Russia MSG. And the second type is topical. Uh, we have uh, female developers then running the Women in Tech MSGs very successfully. Uh, for about um, uh, three uh, gatherings. We also have other like technical top topics like Rusty AI. And the third genre is institutional. So we have MSGs that target for, for example, for enterprise users uh, to get involved in the community and uh, uh, how to best use Mansport or uh, we have my, uh, MSGs that are actually doing seminars uh, in universities 
uh, to help students and teachers uh, getting familiar with Mindsport technology. We also design a lot of bot uh, to help automate uh, our infrastructure. For example, we have the CI bot running on both the Git codebase and the GitHub codebase. We have a sync bot uh, built upon the GitHub, uh, uh, GitHub action. The sync bot help uh, mirror code in real time from Git to GitHub so that we have uh, two uh, sync up code base. We also have a DX bot that is the output from the developer experience. The DX bot uh, help uh, provide like suggestion of reviewers, suggestion of labels for your issues. And it actually improves a lot of uh, things on um, uh, when developer interact uh, with our CI bot. Last but not least, we uh, also uh, use data-driven uh, Kanbans heavily. And uh, okay, open source collaboration. Um, so, Munsport community has built a large collaboration uh, among the major open source communities. Uh, we have a close uh, collaboration with LFI Foundation. As you can see, this is one, one of the picture uh, took for the LFI uh, day in China. Um, we also are working closely with this uh, AIC Open Lab working group uh, in Eclipse Foundation. Uh, we have a lot of um, technical collaboration with the CNCF Foundation, uh, with the Q, um, Kubernetes project, um, Volcano project, and also with the Apache Foundation's uh, project like, like TVM. Uh, we also have a lot of the technical development uh, collaborations. Okay, another thing that uh, uh, we start doing this year, uh, uh, also we feel really excited is to open source the OSPO itself. So as you know, although we are doing the operations for open source community, actually many of the uh, operation, the side of operation is not open source. So this is why uh, at the end of March this year, uh, in the Open Atom Foundation, uh, we created a new project called the ZeroX Commons project. Uh, so we, what we believe is that maybe a, a mode of Big Tent uh, could actually be a middle way where we have uh, really great uh, uh, trained professionals uh, that are doing the institutional work. And uh, we still working in a uh, really freedom uh, way like we uh, have in a bazaar. So this is what Xerox Come Ops project uh, also want to achieve. Okay. Uh, this is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you very much for listening in. Uh, here are all the links uh, of the MySQL project. Uh, all of the code are open source and uh, uh, you are more than welcome to check it out and uh, participate in the community and feel free to uh, ask anything uh, to submit an issue or to submit a pull request for our community. Thank you very much.